Is it really light? Yes, it is extremely light. Everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Now, if you have ever bought a girl a lawnmower, you know how complicated it is to find the right one because if you hadn't noticed, especially girls like me, I'm not key man. The lawnmowers that my dad owns and currently uses and tries to make me use takes a lot of brute force to get them through the weeds and I don't need that for going around my fruit trees or anything like that and they tend to damage my trees. So I went online and I found a cura-sized lawnmower. He said uh, he didn't want one. I said I did. Uh, he said go buy one, and I said okay. <laughs> and so here it is, and now we are going to be doing a, we are doing a video on it. And it is a small. It's not that big. It's about 18 inches, so it would be about this wide, just on the ground. Not wide enough to hurt anything. It can get in between your fences, and it's not expensive enough to where if something happens to it, you're gonna have a meltdown, and it's not gonna be nice. Yeah, guys, these are how much, Kira? They are under $300 at the moment. So, they are four-stroke, not two-stroke. Yep, she'll put a link under the video, guys. Y'all can go check all the specs out, and whatever we don't show in the video or can't find in the manual, I'm sure they have it online. So she'll put a link below the video so you can go and do what? Find them. Look at them. Read Buy them, about them. Read about them. Learn about them. See if they'll fit for your yard. Yeah. You know, if you've got a grandparent, a boomer that don't walk well. Nope. And somebody who's blind. Somebody who can't see well. Um, <laughs> nah, she's not blind. She's got good eyes. she got new glasses coming in in a couple hours. So um, this is good for her. I said, pick you one out. And she says, what do I get? And I said, simple. Yes. Bulletproof. Never get anything with like the weird digital displays or anything. Like yeah, that. yeah for putting that. outdoors. And there's a lot of them like Never that now. Never get that. All right, so she found this. a Power Smart because we have bought different ones, and I have a big Power Smart. It's like 23, 24 inch wide. It's it's a huge cut, and it's a good mower. But putting her behind that with its what was it, uh, the auto takeoff and all that, man, that just well, it she was terrible. Cure panicked, so Rocks she didn't like it. Um, so it this one get, has this start right here. Yeah, it can get as low as one and a half inches, but I would not suggest that. I would always suggest about two and a half inches for your lawnmower height. Right, height. and then it's got the two, the, the larger rear wheel than the front wheel, so it makes it a little easier for her to do her pivoting. Mm -hmm. And this is an easy setup with the height settings on it, so she don't have some linkages and all that. This is just... Do y'all, if y'all remember what lawnmowers were from Montgomery Ward, from Sears, from yeah. even Kmart, the simple, old Murray. Yeah. This is like those old style. So let's get your mower over here to the work table. Yep. And this is her garden table. So she brought it in for this purpose. Now that ain't bad if you think about it. Because yeah. Kira only weighs 100 and what, 18, 20 pounds? 120. 120 pounds can handle that in the box. Well, let's get it unboxed right quick and we will take off Thanks. and see what we're working with here. Get it in here. The tape is a bit complicated. There's a lot of freaking tape on this. I thing. know. All right, there we go. All right. Woo! <laughs> Hello. All right, there's cardboard there. I'm gonna have to throw this. And it comes with a bagger. Which is always nice. Which is nice. Now, you always have to check out your bagger and make sure that it actually works because for some of these, it doesn't. No, no. No, we have, we have a uh, Walmart special weed eater brand one that came with a bagger that could never bag nothing. So, yeah, 144 cc and a bunch of zip ties, a lot of padding. So, all right, we're going to get it out and get it on the table. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. All right, she is right out of the box and onto the table. I did it all by myself. Um, she's so small. Oh my gosh, she is so small. I expected it to be small, but it, you know, in person, it's just really cute. It's a cute mower. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's looking pretty. 
I would be so embarrassed to be pushing that in the yard. But <laughs> in a couple more years, with them, maybe my knees messed up. That might be my mower. We got it right here, and it's nice. And but you can see the oil is nice and accessible. The spark plug is accessible. Everything is just right there. Um, I don't know about this vent, though. I'm going to have to ask for Dad's help on how to figure that one out. Okay, yeah. It's, it's got it's got the little rubber boot on it and on the other side, so it's fine. If you need the valves adjusted, I can show you how to do that. Yeah, but you just cut it right here. And then you're supposed to be able to bring it up and work it. That's not that difficult, actually, is it? Doesn't seem it. No. Sure beats the heck out of that other one. That other one, you had to dig all the bolts out of a bag and put all the pieces together. This is just kind of pre-molded for you. Yeah. Okay. Here, hold on to it, Kira. I'll get the other side here. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. You know, PowerSmart, um, the little generator, I got a little 1500 watt generator. And, and look, I'll put a link to that, right? there i don't even know if they still sell it but man i've put like god we're thousand hours on that sucker and i ain't never had a problem with it and everybody else is like he's too small well, hell no it puts out 1800 watts in a surge and 1500 it run an air conditioner in that little camper for about four days solid on about i don't know a couple gallons of gas there you go so now she's got her more set up. Yeah, I'd have to get this one brought over there. What's that? Oh, you got a. Oh yeah, you got a you cable holder or, or rope holder. That's what. Yeah. Okay. And then here's all the little parts to go with it. This is your grass chute right here. Well, let me open it. So I can put it like this. Right, here's your grass chute. Here is your oil, and it's made by a company. What was it called again? Um, Castrol. Castrol. Yeah, Castrol yeah, oil. Their story. oil is actually, she found out, was Castrol. Yeah. C-A-S-T-R-O-L, -A -A Castrol, which is a really good quality oil, especially small engines. They use them, a lot of motorcycles use Castrol. You got your spark plug wrench, and you got your funnel. Nice. And some clips. Clips. Mm -hmm. What are they for? I have no idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, those are for your, those are for your cable. See? Oh, right. your cable. Okay, okay, I forgot there. about that. There you go. That is your your uh, safety brake up there, and you said this one over here had a thing for it. So yes. right up here is for the rope pull. And look, it's loose, so it makes it easier to do. Mm -hmm. Once you get that, make sure you tighten it down like that, so it don't slip back off. Okay. Yep. And uh, the I noticed that the carburetor kind of looks like the one that's down here. What do you think? So possibility that it could be. Per, um, Converted? Converted to propane. Mm. Well, this won't fit. Well, no, you can remove this and put it like somewhere on the body of it or... Oh, the diaphragm. Higher. Yeah. Okay. And you might be able to co co oh. convert it. Hey, hold on. Convert it to propane. This is Kira. And she's smart, guys. Um, huh. I knew I still had one. Two bottles fit this thing and it's got an auto valve so you can take it loose without it blowing out gas what do you think that wouldn't yeah. weigh nothing no you only weighs sit on top of the bag i always try to get them with pounds, the bag because i don't like weeds in my stuff okay so yeah oh yeah yeah the bagger yeah. so she has a bagger with it and that helps her get rid of all the weeds this is a little tiny here grab that wheel let's lift it up take a look at the bottom because the one thing you don't get in a lot of lawnmowers is a true metal wow that is true metal the whole bottom's all all metal that's Ow. nice and bull bearing nice i like that i think it's oiled hmm. look it's pre-oiled there was oh. some pre there was some oil in here too which means they tested it oh yeah seal it i like about them is that they test their stuff yeah, I had oil in it. Hold on, let's see. Give it a sniff. You see, smell a little bit of gas in there. Not really, but I can I can get like a little. It's like it's been siphoned. It's been it's been taken out. Okay. But it's been there. You smell it good. Barely. It smells more like an alcohol. Oh, that fake gas. They use fake gas to test it. Well, that's a good thing then. Okay. They they have a, like a white gas. 
white yeah, gas. Yeah, yeah, white gas. That's what they use. All right, so yeah, they test yeah. these in factories with about probably three tablespoons of white gas. So that makes it simple, just to both mode. sides. Very it's nice. Very high. This is do all the front and back. No, there's no linkage. I remember looking at your picture on there. There's no linkage. So you get to adjust these separately. That way you got no linkage between the two to break. Yes. And I've noticed that with mine. No, my, um, God, what's that one we got? Uh, it's a husky. husky. I have a, I have a yes. husky that husky has, a, a, yeah, has a linkage and it's done twisted to where this tire is like two clicks lower than this tire. And then this tire is one click lower than this tire, but equal to that tire. And it's because the dang linkage is bend all up. But hers is, well, that's all sealed too, Kira. It's even got the sealed flange the belly on the front. I told you I thought it was nice. Yeah, she picked a good mower. And nice, heavy, looks like better than five eighths. All right, well, guys, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get some gas in it. We're gonna get some gas in it and we're gonna try it out. We're, we're gonna, gonna take see if it's worth the hype. Kira out there to her peach trees, pear trees, apple trees, and Pear trees and persimmons. And, and persimmon <laughs> trees. And she has 45 Walnut. or 47 of them. Um, let her move. We're going to show you what it sounds like and how it behaves. Right? Right. And it's going to look so nice because she's. And it's red. That means she's. It's <laughs> she's so tiny. You see? Look. Tiny. All right, guys. We'll be right back. We're going to get that thing on the road or on the grass. On the grass. All right. All right, we have got this assembled and we have got it outside. We have got the gas in it. Well, I got the gas in it. And um, from the instructions, it just says to hit the primer and pull the starter. So we are going to do just that to try to turn this puppy on. We hit the primer about four or five soft times. Nothing too, nothing too drastic. And just pull the start. Second start, first start. Second pull, first start. It is really easy to pull. Is it really light? Yes, it is extremely light. Here don't normally mow in a dress, guys. Wow. Let's see if we got it in the bagger. See if I can figure out how to pull this out. Whew. Look at how much you got. That's nice. That's nice. Is that gonna help you get rid of all your weeds? Yeah. All right, so she's got a she's got a ton of fruit trees, and what are you gonna do with this now? Mow all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, I'll put a link below, or she'll put a link below. Whoever does the editing on the video, I've been very busy, so. If you have if you have problems with your back, or if you have a young girls or anything like that, this is absolutely perfect. Yeah. For your yard. D this is like the old days. So this is yeah. the mower that's twenty years old. It's an old weed eater, and it probably weighs literally twice as much as that one. I like that you can switch the modes on both ends. Yeah, and can't do that over here very easy. It's actually a struggle. Those things all stuck and freeze up on you. Yeah, that one is older than me. Yeah, it's one on every single corner there, see? All right, so old L head, old, what, flathead engine? Yeah. That's a lot better, right? Yeah. This one's a, definitely an upgrade. All right. Y'all guys be good. Bye. Be good.